Hi, this video in part was helped made by the people on this screen. If you'd like to join them, you can do so by becoming a patron. Thank you for tuning in. So, after watching the debates yesterday, I think it's kind of clear to as as someone who as someone within my political framework to talk about the fact that for the most part the debate had no real purpose. Like really it had no real purpose and there's nothing obviously good about the debate. However, there was something about it that was important. More important than any of the any of the policies, any of the shit they talked about. There was something that was truly important. And I've seen people bring it up. But I've seen people kind of just either kind of talk about it in a sense as it was something that was concerning but there's been no real kind of like analysis into it or they've just kind of ignored it entirely and that was the very the three exact times that Donald Trump signaled directly to the cops and reserves the the, the fascists on the streets the bouncers um, and that was when he told Proud Boys, he specifically said Proud Boys, to stand back and stand by when he was asked by uh, Christopher Wallace if he were to tell them to stand down, the, the, the white supremacists in the streets. Um, and obviously Trump basically said, but Trump didn't say that. He, did, he said the opposite. He basically said, wait. The other times was when he said... Um, Basically, that written to the camera for poll watchers to go to the polls to make sure there's no fraud. And lastly, was when after the election, where he basically made the the narrative that anything that was not a victory for him would be fraud, said that he could he wouldn't be able to control what would happen in the streets. So those were three times where. Yeah, he was responding to Christopher Wallace, but really he was talking directly to a very specific subset of the audience. And all those three times were basically this. Like, what they, what they basically meant, if there was anything to even, like, glean from it, um, because it was pretty standard and simple, was simply t getting, getting, getting his, his auxiliary troops prepared for what's to come. And if we know everything that was been going on right now, then we know that what that's going to like entail is either one some sort of takeover or just mass violence, right? And it's weird because people talk about this, but they talk about this in a way that illuminates where their mindset is because they're talking about this as if awareness right uh the fact that getting awareness of this would cause people to um basically i don't know i i think i think the issue is is they they, they think that there's some there must be some sort of mechanism out there that if you can point to some issue um it can be done like how like for example if someone a, per a person were to threaten you uh you would point out hey that's a threat implying that I, you could take some sort of legal action against them as a consequence. So when people talk about this, if they do talk about it, and there are a lot of people that didn't, talk about it like there's some mechanism in which you can show some sort of consequence for Trump basically directing his fascists to get ready. And I think we can kind of all understand at this point there is no mechanism. Like the simple fact that the way this was framed, Chris Wallace framed this on purpose to get that out of him because he knew the response was. We knew from the last four years he wasn't. He's not gonna. He's not gonna denounce and condemn white supremacy. He's not. That's his. That's his voter base. So knowing this, knowing that obviously that was, wasn't gonna change, you gotta think about what was the purpose of even asking those questions. Because had he not asked those questions, we wouldn't have seen this. Because that's the thing that. At least I was looking out for when I was watching. I was looking out for those specific moments, which happened at least three times. You know, it's 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 this understanding that like the idea is that is that there's just Trump 
and then obviously the fact that he controls the state apparatus, but also there, you know, there's that, that there's that group of of fanatics who basically live on his every word, and that's just who we're fighting against. But like, what people don't understand is that every part of the system was designed to allow Trump to do exactly what he did there, and all the other stuff, but specifically what exactly what he did what he did there. So bringing attention to it. As a way to signal, hey, there is some um, aberration within the system and there needs to be some sort of corrective action to be done is a waste of time. There will be no corrective action because it's not an aberration of the system, despite what you think. Um, I know there was this tweet that said, How, what was the point of educating people for 75 years about fascism for when it's completely in front of their face, them not to see it? Well, the, the answer to that is... There was no education for 75 years in fascism. There were 75 years of propaganda and miseducation exactly for this point in time. Okay, so now that we know that, what would be the purpose of bringing attention to this? Well, the only conceivable and necessary thing to do is to get people to be prepared as well. It's so everyone who knows this, who sees that, who everyone who saw that when he said it, to be prepared as well, and especially if you're marginalized. That means, you, that means, in plain words, you need to be armed in some possible way, or be with someone who is. Because that's not, because what's going to happen there, what's going to happen the weeks to come, the day of, and a few, the months to years after, like, at this point, it's all but confirmed. Like, there's no, there's no other way around, uh, but, you know, we're not, there's no, there's no way, but there's no, like, there is no, like, and I, I want to be, I want to kind of be specific with this. There is zero option that violence like that does not happen in, on, on a scale, probably not, probably different from what we've been seeing in recent months. Uh, and you need to be ready because that's, that's happening. Like, it's not, oh, uh, this is, no, no, it's happening. That was that there to me was the confirmation. That was the the, the last little confirmation to know. Okay, that's what's going to happen come election night, um, and then the months after, and the years after. And what needs to be done, right? About about this is not going to come. And I'm, I'm be honest, with you, it's not going to come from somehow playing the system up like like with this with something like this has basically guaranteed something like this is basically guaranteed that voting for joe biden will actually amount to nothing right not in a not in a way of, of i'm talking about like you know po specific policies i'm talking about like the very specific situation of this because trump has very basically made it clear if he loses it's fraud and all and everyone who believes that their democracy hinges on him for whatever like um, you know nonsensical reason will think that like America's go is gonna die. So he's 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 put in place to where people's people are literally gonna be bullied out of the polls. He's already he's already he's already used the system to like destroy um, the post office to make any sort of to make voter suppression a lot easier. Um, and he's basically made it seem that even if all that fails, people are going to assume the loss is going to be illegitimate, and therefore they're going to act accordingly. And all that means for you is that you need to act accordingly as well. Distributor, peace out.